Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a review for you guys and I'm gonna do a review on dun, 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 on the limited edition makeup by One Direction kit. In reality I have three but I have two of Lily. Little disclaimer, they did send this to me to review and Everything I say is definitely my honest opinion on what I think about these products. So let's start with the with the with the with the with the, with the review. The makeup look that I have right now is using this palette and one other thing from a different thing they sent me. So but it's still 1D. So for all of you 1D fans, these are pretty cool to collect because there is five of them, of course. Obviously, one for each band member. And I have Louis and I have Liam. So they decided to give me the L's. Um, pretty much, it's pretty cool. Ooh. They're pretty cool. I like them because... If you're like a huge fan, you're going to collect all of them just because they're pretty cool to just have a mass display or something like that. Whatever your little heart desires. So let's start with pretty much packaging. Packaging first, first thing we do. Anyway, so the packaging is this. It's a tin box. Tin, tin, tin. And it has the face of... Louie and of course like I said it does have there's one for each band member so I get to have Louie anyways but you yeah. and right here it shows you what it has inside and it says one direction makeup by one direction and in the back it gives you it describes the makeup everything that's in there and then once you open it you have this right here this right here is pretty much them writing and their signature and they're showing you pretty much a makeup look that you could do with, with the makeup inside. So it's pretty cool that they show you a makeup look that you can do just in case if you are a beginner or you need an idea, there you go. They give you an idea of what to do. And it has the names. It looks like they wrote it and it tells you what to do and things like that. So this is pretty cool. I like that. And then over here we have the eyeshadows, the lip glosses, the nail polishes, the eyeliner, and a lip top coat. And it has it comes with this sleeve which you could remove. And the sleeve has the name of the products. So the eyeshadows and all those things. So you could put it away. And pretty much these are the eyeshadows. The first one is da, 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 da. it's called Nobody Cares and it's a metallic silver. Then the next one is Tell Me a Lie and it's a metallic nude pink. The next one is Same Mistakes and it's a metallic mint green. Then moving down to here we have I Would and it's a smoky brown shimmer. Then we have Summer Love, it's a smoky purple haze, and then Everything About You, and it's a smoky black shimmer. Let's move to the lip glosses. We have this one, which is, it's a, it's called Love You First, and it's a bubblegum pink, and then we have one thing, which is a frosted pink eyes, and then we have Irresistible, which is a shimmer pearl, and then heart attack which is a creamy rose shine then we have this eyeliner right here and it's called i want and it's a true matte black we have the lip top coat which is called over again and it's a silver glittery sparkle and then we have the nail polishes which this one is stole my heart and it's a magenta pink shimmer then alive and it's a multicolor um glitter flick so yeah that's what we have. That's what we're working with. So, let's talk about the eyeshadows first. Especially the eyeshadows because they're the most important. That's what makes the look. 
you know so okay eyeshadows I'm gonna talk about the texture first the texture it's very smooth very velvety which I got really excited about because that's what you want when you get eyeshadows you want them to be smooth velvety you don't want them to you don't want to have fallout when you get fallouts because the eyeshadows feel very powdery and that's not bueno so they're velvety they're smooth so I got super excited I'm like yes this is awesome it's starting out good so once I started with the swatching and things like that and testing it out that's where I got a little disappointed and yes I'm sorry but it was a little disappointed because and these are my reasons um as you can see I have a look let me get close for you guys so this is my look I have on everything about you on my lid which is that black shimmery eyeshadow and then I have it under my eye too and I also am using the eyeliner and I'm also using tell me a lie which is that it's that metallic um, nude pink color on my lid and crease and if you can see it's not that pigmented and I was very disappointed that it wasn't that pigmented I had to pack on the makeup and I still got a very sheer look so I really did get disappointed because of that and another thing that disappointed me was that it was very 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 hard to blend I tried blending it and I did put a primer so I was hoping that that would capture the color better but it didn't so it was very, it was disappointing because I expected more from them, especially because they're putting their name on there and that's their brand and you want everything to be perfect. If you're going to put your name on something, it better be perfect. Lord knows it. If I would ever have a makeup line that had my name, it has to come out great because it has my name, it has my brand. So I was a little bit disappointed because of that. So... They're really hard to blend and they're not that pigmented. When you swatch them, they do look pigmented, which is very, um, very weird. It misleads you very much, so I didn't really like that. And so yeah, that's pretty much about the eyeshadows. They're not pigmented. They're not, they don't blend well, and which I was surprised because they do feel smooth and velvety, and which, that was a shocker, so. But if you are starting this would be a great way to start or if you don't like that much let's say you're very shy with the harsh colors or you you're really more into the natural look these are good colors to have just because they don't have that much pigmentation so once you put it on you'll feel comfortable with them so maybe if you're starting or if you're that type of person then this would actually be good for you. So let's go to the eyeliner. These are um, swatches of the eyeliner. And pretty much I did six of them. Six because I want you I wanted you to see how pigmented it is. Um it really did sadden me because it's also not pigmented. I put eyeliner on my waterline and everything and just didn't it's like I didn't put anything. So, I was very disappointed with that. I very, very much. Um, as you can see with the lines, I did one swatch, just swatching it one time, then the other one two times, three times, four times, like as you see. And that's how much pigmentation you get each time. Um, I did put it under the eyes, it did work there. It did grab more to a dry skin. So, if you're trying to put it on your waterline, it won't work. Now to the lip glosses. The lip glosses, amazingly, I was impressed. Just um, not super duper impressed. Like, oh my gosh, they're awesome. But I was impressed because I assumed they were going to be as same as the eyeliners and the eyeshadows. So when I tried them on, I was pretty impressed. As you can see right now, um, I'm showing you swatches of it. And they look pretty good. They're not... Um, overly pigmented but that's good because for this look that they show you you don't want nothing pigmented you don't want to have a smoky eye and a dark lip I just never like 
So you want something more nudie. And I have a lot of high-end lip glosses that they're very sheer and yet I still love them. Um, they are great. They moisturize your, your lips. Um, let's see, they're not sticky at all. They do have some pigmentation, which that's pretty cool because when it comes to these little pots with lip glosses or whatever, they usually don't show anything. They could be bright pink and when you put it on, they're like transparent you can't see nothing so these i was impressed with um now moving to the lip coat and here you have the swatch and it's called over again which is a silvery glitter sparkle which i love because it it's not overly sparkly i hate overly sparkly things i just hate it and um that i really love this because it's not overly sparkly and it's not sticky it's not um it doesn't make you feel like you're every time you talk you have like those little strings of the gloss right there that's very disturbing so that's um i like that about that lip top coat which i just it's a lip gloss so yeah that was pretty cool and Pretty much for the makeup, that was it. I really love the lip products. The eye products, not so much. Let's go to the nail polish. And have you noticed a theme from this? Have you? I don't know if, if you noticed that all of their makeup has the name of their songs. So the eyeshadows, each one has the name of one of their songs. And that's just pretty cool. I like that. I like how they incorporated that with their makeup. So now let's go to the nail polish and here is a swatch of Stole My Heart and like I said it's a magenta pink and it's very pretty. Um, It's pretty pigmented. I expected it to be like kind of, I don't know, like bad I guess. It did take three coats but the thing is that it dries very quickly that you don't have to wait that long cool and then I have here the Stole My Heart and it's a glittery a multicolored glittery flake thing going on <laughs> I don't know. and um it was pretty cool I like it it reminded me a lot of Christmas for some weird reason you can't really see that much the pinks and the sil not the pinks pretty much the pinks you see the reds the greens and the silver so it reminded me a lot like christmas so i'll probably be wearing this for christmas and um here is a picture of both stole my heart and alive together and it looks awesome like i said it dry very quickly it's not um watery or it's not overly thick it's perfect like i like it it's nice so yeah pretty much that concludes this um review so what i say what i give pretty much i give this a three out of five just because the eye products were very disappointing they they probably do work for someone else like I said, if you're not into very pigmented eyeshadows, you like more of a natural, but you just like having that hint of color, then yeah, they're great for you. Or if you're starting now and you want to practice, well, this is great for you too. I don't think it's that expensive. I looked it up in Sears, and they're, I think it says it's $12.98. I'm not sure, but I'll put the prices on there. And um, they did come out on the 15th November. They do have them in... Sears, Target, Kmart, and Walmart in Canada. So if you live in Canada, you'll find them in Walmart. And yeah, so they're very um, inexpensive. And the sad thing is that you do get that quality for being more on the less pricey situation. So yeah, um, but other than that, once you're done with the makeup, I love it because look let me show you you can save the boxes they're very very nice oh, the thing is that I don't like the products are hard to come off exactly that's one of the things the products are very hard to come off but once you're done this is what it says hello beautiful XO and then you could just keep it and just to put your little things, your little love notes and things like that, all cutesy. So 
and yeah pretty much that's it those are my thoughts i hope you like my review uh i'm not trying to bash their makeup line or anything i have seen their other stuff that they came out with their other makeup products and they seem pretty awesome um it's a good starter kit so if you like all those things go ahead and go get them and yeah so pretty much that's it you guys thank you so much for watching i love you guys so 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 much if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't well still give it a thumbs up because that would be so nice of you and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and click on that subscribe button people make fun of me because i say button because i don't want to say button or whatever but it's just button anyway yeah that's a different thing anyway so pretty much that's it you guys thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much bye